Hi everyone, I'm Hoodie Angel Brandon, and welcome to tonight's show. We are here at the Opera Epiclay to welcome to the stage the great magician Linny. <laughs> yes, at long last, the time has come to wish for my most anticipated character since I started playing Genshin, Linny, and his darling sister Lynette. Yes, uh, I've been looking forward to these two since I saw them in the Travail trailer, which was actually quite a while now at this point. Uh, over two years. I saw it shortly after I started playing Genshin, and so I've been eagerly waiting for them, and finally we have arrived in Fontaine, and we are here to summon them and finally bring them home. Uh, well, technically we already have Lynette uh, from being a free character, however, uh, that just means that she has arrived early to set the stage for her brother's dazzling appearance. <laughs> um, but yes, I have saved uh, pretty much the second half of Sumeru. It's been about five months since I last wished, and so we have managed to save up a good number of uh, wishes for him. We have 102 wishes in Acquaint Fates. I finally traded in all my Star Glitter, and we also have another 298 wishes from Primo Gems for a dazzling total of 400 wishes. Ah, uh, I'm so excited. Uh, we're finally going to bring them home, and uh, yeah. Uh, we are not just going to bring Linny, though. We are also going to bring his wonderful bow, the first great magic. So, real quick, let's go over the banners. Linny's banner is nothing really special. Lynette is here, but again, she was free. So while getting cons for her is nice, uh, we don't really need Barbara or Benny. Although, actually, I'm one of the few people who've been playing long-term who doesn't have a C6 bar. So I actually can get her cons, even though I don't actually play her much. And then Benny will just give us more star glitter. And, of course, the real four-star target there would be Lynette. But Linny is, of course, the main goal. And then, over on the weapon banner for Linny's first trick, he truly stacked the deck here and made this a fantastic banner for him. It has both his first and second best options in terms of five-star bows, the first great magic and aqua simulacra, and then the four-star options are also very solid across the board. Not quite perfect, I think I would have preferred a Favonius sword to the sacrificial sword, but it is still a fantastic banner nonetheless. A lot of great generalist weapons here, which will just be great weapons to have on hand. And moving back to Lenny himself, uh, I did play him a bit. Uh, I actually went ahead and speed ran the entire Archon quest and his story quest, and uh, he really did end up living up to my hype. He's a fantastic character, and uh, while his gameplay is not quite what I was hoping for, it is still very fun. Um, I actually do like charge attack gameplay, so that's not really an issue for me. I wish he wasn't trying so heavily to stick to Mono Pyro, but at the end of the day, he's very fun and he's very solid, so I'm still more than happy to invest into him. I really just wish that Lynette was a little bit of a better support for him. If I remember correctly, she has a passive that wants multiple elemental types, while Linny wants just the uh, pyro mostly. <laughs> But since I actually do like that charge attack gameplay, it's really no big issue, and I'm more than happy to wish here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. 400 wishes. We're at least going to get Linny and his bow, but if we get super lucky, we may even try for some cons. Uh, I'm not looking to burn up the whole stash here, but, um, you know, we do want to uh, indulge a little and get uh, the boyfriend home. I I, I, de I declared Linny my boyfriend long ago. <laughs> and uh, that, that was something that I was really excited when I saw them. Uh, their designs are so cute. And I was just like, oh my god, my bisexual heart. <laughs> uh, they're very adorable. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, first ten pull so far. We've got nothing. Ferris Shadow, come on. Uh, who is our four star? 
the bell. <sighs> that's that's for Fremine. It's not actually for Fremine. Please don't put the, the bell on Fremine. He does not want it. Um, speaking of, I'm also excited for Fremine, but uh, I probably won't go for him on Banner. Uh, I'll probably just wait to get him passively later down the line. But oh, whoa, five star early. Uh, we might get that Linny right away. Um, if not, Tenari Cons would be fantastic, or uh, Miss Dia would be a great pull as well. I know that sounds like a strange thing to say, but uh, she really would genuinely be a great pull. Oh, we got him! Ah, there he is! 20 pulls just to bring him home. He was so excited to, to, to show up. Oh, look at him. He's so cool. He's got like the, he's got, in my opinion, the best splash art in the game right now. Um, like, oh man, his aesthetics are so good. His animations, like, have you seen his idol animations? They're amazing. Um, I legitimately think that he got like the Archon treatment in terms of appearance, which is very fitting because he's all about dazzling the, the crowd. And wow, he dazzled me. Look at him. He just showed up 20 pulls just to get him. <laughs> uh, oh, and he brought his sister too. Oh, they are a pair. Do not separate. Oh, that is actually fantastic. That is so perfect. Genuinely perfect. We couldn't have scripted that better. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> and now we get to go immediately and pull for his bow and um okay weapon banner really genuine generally not advised i wouldn't really advise it but i'm at a point with my account that i don't really have a ton of characters i want anymore and uh most of the upcoming fontaine characters i'd be fine with getting on rerun if i really wanted them so i'm since i saved so much i really want to spoil Linny. I, again, I waited over two years for him, and uh, so even though this banner is stacked, I wouldn't necessarily encourage you to pull, but if you do want to pull, this is a really good banner because these four-star weapons are just very generally useful. Again, I think Favonius Sword would be a little bit better than Sacrificial Sword. Maybe Favonius Bow too, um, but overall this is still great value just because these weapons are so universal and they also appreciate having refines um and then the the bows again these are Linny's first and second best in slot with that said i think if you just want a great bow aqua is better because it is more universal way more units can use it compared to the first great magic but we're going all in on spoiling Linny. We've got to get his best in slot. So, uh, if if you just want either bow, Aqua is the better one for general use. If you're not going to keep it on Linny all the time, but I'm just going in for his best in slot. <laughs> but with that disclaimer out of the way, that uh, the weapon banner can be kind of a scam sometimes. Uh, we're going to go in anyway, and we're going to get uh, hopefully something great. Again. Uh, the four stars are generally pretty good here. I also still need a rust for my Yoimiya. I'm missing one refinement on that. <laughs> uh, okay, we just got a Favonius Greatsword. Um, probably the least helpful of these ones, just because there aren't a ton of uh, Claymore users that I'm really using. I've got, and I've got some Favonius ones already, but still. Uh, yeah, man, I'm, just, I'm still just so excited that we got him so early and he came with his sister. Wow, that's incredible. Oh, Goro! Oh, man. Oh, that's super hype. I still need a DPS Geo Boy to play him with, but uh, that is still nice to get a con for him because I do like Goro a lot, too. Also, while I'm at it, uh, I want to say that I do want to come back to uh, streaming, put on some more little shows for you guys, uh, but I am taking a little bit of a hiatus. I never really formally announced that, but uh, that that is in the future. It's just uh, 
it's been busy lately, so hopefully we'll get back to that soon. <laughs> All right, sack bow. That is actually my first sacrificial bow, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really wanted a sack bow back when I played Diona, and I never got one. And uh, <laughs> now I don't really play her anymore, so I don't terribly need it. But it is nice to have, just in case it could be helpful for someone in the future. Oh, and a sack sword. Uh, I still have my Singcho on R5 sack sword, and he hits really hard. Um, I have heard that you could swap to, like, Favonius, because sack does extend his rotations. But honestly, if I swapped his weapon, I kind of want to just get him, like, a five-star weapon. I've, I've also thought about... It's really stupid, but I've thought about trying to get Miss Splitter for Benny, which is, like, objectively a terrible thing, but I just want Benny to be really good. Um, and speaking of, I've been debating for over a year now about C6-ing Benny, finally. And Linny being so dependent on Benny is kind of making me think that it's finally time. Um, I might see 6M for Linny. <laughs> oh, uh, there's Noelle. I guess she wanted to come so I can use that Goro. <laughs> but yeah, objectively not worth it to get Benny Miss Splitter, but it is... I, j I just kind of want to spoil him. I love him. Oh, and we got our 5-star. Hopefully we get the first great magic here. Another sack bow. Oh, aqua. Okay. Um, again, that is technically really great because so many units can use it, but not really what I was hoping to see here. Um, I could just quit here and put it on Lenny, but I do want his best in slot, and I can actually put that on Tenari and give him a slight upgrade. He does have Skyward Harp, which is still really good for him, but uh, I would I would like an upgrade for Tenari because I do use him a good amount, and he uh, he kind of deserves it. I kind of regret not going all in last time for Hunter's Path. Uh, I stopped when I got the Skyward Harp, and it was really good for him, but I I, I kind of wish I had gotten him Hunter's Path. <laughs> and uh, ooh, ew. All right, Dory's like my least favorite character in the entire game, so I'm not really happy with that one. Thanks. <laughs> uh, she's here to remind us that the weapon banner is a scam. Okay, don't fall for it. <laughs> That's all. That's why she's here. Okay, we got Favonius Lance, so this 10 pull wasn't a total waste. And, uh, yeah, the other thing I really want to pull for eventually down the line is... Uh, Staff of Scarlet Sands for Sino. That's the other weapon that I really want, and that one actually probably would be worth getting, unlike getting Miss Splitter for Benny, because that's just silly. Or also, like, uh, Jade Cutter for Singcho would be kind of nice, but Staff of Scarlet Sands is, like, objectively the smart choice to go for if I want to pull for another weapon in the future, but uh, we'll have to see. Uh, hopefully... Uh, Staff Scarlet Sands runs with another good banner like this. And we got another Favonius Lance. Can't have too many of those. Uh, so many units really just want that weapon, so it's great to have another copy. Come on. Make it appear, Linny. Pull that bow out of your hat and show us the first great magic. Uh... Nothing too good here. Oh, yo, Kirara! Awesome, actually. She's here for the... She she saw this cat-themed banner here with Lenny and Lynette, and she was like, I gotta get in on this. And uh, so uh, we pulled the cat out of the hat. Now we're gonna pull her out of the box. And uh, this is awesome. I really wanted her, but I again, I skipped the back half of Sumeru so that I could save for Lenny. So I almost pulled for her. I also almost pulled for Kave. I, I kind of wanted Baiju too after his story quest. I didn't like Baiju, but his story quest really made me uh, like him a lot more as a character. So I was tempted by like all three of them. Uh, but it, it's really cool that I managed to get Kirara after all. And uh, I didn't get punished for skipping her. So <laughs> happy about that.
All right, we have finally burned through those uh, fates that we had saved up. And now we're going to start going into the Primo Gems. I thought about converting the Primo Gems to Fates, but honestly, I just kind of like seeing the big number up there, so I left them as is. Um. But yes, come on. There's another Sackbo. Again, Sackbo, not as helpful for me, but... It can still be okay. Uh, I'm glad to have the option but Favonius Bow would have been a little better, I think. And remember, even though uh, we did burn all those uh, fates, we're still pretty ahead because we got Lenny so early. Sack Frags, pretty okay. Uh, I don't have any Catalyst user that desperately wants it. I think it, funny enough, I was going to say, I think it's actually pretty good for Sucrose, but I don't play Sucrose because I've got a lot of Animos that I like more. <laughs> I find her clunky, and of course I've got the uh, the super uh, invested Kazuha because I'm a silly guy. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't use Sucrose, but I think it's pretty good for her. Oh, there's another one. Another sack frag. Alright. I think this one will be a five star. Yeah, there it is. It's it's hard for me to keep count on these. <laughs> Come on, first great magic. First great magic. There it is! Oh, look at it. It's such a cool looking bow. I think this and Tenari's Hunter's Path are the two prettiest uh, five star weapons. They look so good. And we got a Favonius Greatsword as a throw in. <laughs> nice. Oh, there we go. It's such a cool looking bow. Oh, wow. That's, that's so pretty. Oh, man. Lenny's just like all style, and he's still got substance to back it up too. I was worried he'd end up like super underwhelming, but I saw like a screenshot of someone with a level one Lenny who was doing like 14k plus. I was like, what? <laughs> all right, so that didn't cost us that much in the grand scheme of things. And uh, we even got some uh, star glitter back. So we actually generated some wishes as well. Uh, and I actually feel comfortable going for at least one Lenny con. Uh, I would love to get his C2. Uh, honestly, his cons are pretty good across the board. But if you ask me where I'd really like to stop for like the first banner, like C2 would probably be ideal. I don't think he needs it, but like I just really want to spoil him. Uh, so I'm going to go for like at least one con, I think. And... Uh, like, again, I, I waited so long for him. I really want to spoil him. I really like him. And, like, his siblings, too. Like, I, I was losing my mind over these guys. Oh, we got a Sara. Interesting. Doesn't really fit the, uh, the theme we've got going here, but I guess she's okay to show up. But, yeah, I... I, I've been like gushing over uh, the trio for a while. I think it's funny because they were the three designs I liked the most for the Fontaine cast, and they're all like the first version. So, <laughs> but I will, uh, I will probably just wait on Fremine. Maybe they'll give him for free eventually. Oh, there's our Barbara Con. I still can't believe I don't have her C6, and we got the Stringless. Uh, not doing a whole lot for Lenny. He does not need that EM, but. <laughs> That's okay, we don't need more bows for him. We got the fancy bow now. But yeah, Fontaine, so far I've uh, I put off most of the exploration because I wanted to do that with uh, Lenny and Lynette in the party. But I, I did the uh, story quests and, oh, another Barbara. And the uh, story quests are probably, or the Archon quests, 
And I think Fontaine's Archon quests have so far been my favorite in the game. They were really good. And the uh, Linny's story quest was also fantastic. So i uh, very happy about that. Oh, there's another Lynette. Awesome. The, uh, the C1 for her was the main thing I really wanted, but I'd love to have her C6, you know, just, just because, <laughs> just because I like her too. Uh, Linny is getting a little bit more of the spotlight here, but I still really like Lynette as well. I'd probably have lost my mind even more if I didn't already have her, uh, when we pulled, but we get that free copy. So I already did technically have her, but uh, it's still really cool that we're getting cons for her. This banner, character-wise, again, is not like the most ideal, but it might be the only time that I can actually go for Lynette cons with him, so I'm kind of taking that opportunity. That's also part of why I want to push for a con here, because I kind of want to get Lynette cons as well. <laughs> I'm going to try and build her, uh, even though I've got so many animal units, I just, I've waited so long and I, I was so excited for her that I, I can't just bench her, you know? <laughs> I say as I, as I side eye my, uh, unbuilt sucrose. <laughs> Alright, once more. Nope, still no five star. I thought we were about at the point where we should get a five star, but not yet, I guess. Oh, another Lynette, though. Very happy about that. Happy to see her. Uh, oh yeah, like she has that really snazzy idol with the teacup. It's so cool. And uh, like to honor that, I made like, I made tea and I got some treats uh, to celebrate Fontaine's release. And uh, it seemed to have brought us some good luck as I was hoping. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, another one. <laughs> yeah, she 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 came for those treats. Oh, and uh, Benny, kind of surprised that's our first one of the banner. Again, I didn't need this to C6 him, but I'm probably gonna C6 him, honestly. Uh, I think it's time. I don't play any characters that really, that really get messed up by him. I think like Razor and who I don't really play anymore because I have Sino and I think think uh, if I got C6 Kazuha, he'd mess him up as well, but I don't have C6, so it's fine. Oh, there's our five star finally. Oh, Benny, again. Yeah, it's a sign that we need to C6 him. But yeah, and I think even Razor technically can run EM builds, uh, so he can actually work with C6 Benny, so it's really fine. All right, come on, Linny number two. No, no, that's awful. They punished me for getting greedy. Uh, well, at least we got three three characters in there, so we got a lot of uh, star glitter. I was really hoping that it, if it was a five star, it could have just been like anyone more useful than that. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, again, like Dia would have been cool. I actually like Dia a lot, and it's kind of sad that her kit ended up so eh, but, um, like, she actually does have a purpose with Linny teams because he wants Mono Pyro and she provides interrupt resistance, so she can actually be a good defensive option for him, uh, but also I would have been happy with Dia just because I like her as a character, I think she's really cool, uh, oh, and another Lynette, are we at C6 yet? Um, I'm not sure, that might have been C6, <laughs> We've gotten a lot of her, which is great. But yeah, I like Dia. Uh, she's just a cool character, so I would have loved to get her there. Or, of course, Tanari Khans. Uh, but even like Mona or uh, Kuching, who I don't have yet, I probably wouldn't use them, but it would have been nice to just get them over Chi-Chi because I'm not using that Chi-Chi, let's be real. <laughs> um... Oh, Favonius Lance. <laughs> We're not on the weapon banner anymore, but we'll still take it. <laughs> oh, 
We still don't have that rust. I was I was hoping we'd get just a random off banner rust <laughs> for my Yoimiya. Oh, another Lynette. She really likes me. <laughs> Again, like I love these two. Oh, no, we didn't have her C6. That one might be C6. Yeah, she their design, both of them have such great designs. I absolutely love them. I was just like when I first saw them, I was like, "Yep, those are those are Brandy characters." And uh <laughs> Now they they have decided that they like me too, and I make I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Benny, yeah, I think over Benny, I would have preferred having like Shangli on the banner because I'm still missing two of her cons, and she's also good with uh, Lenny. But I think it makes sense why they put Benny here because he does like so much for Lenny that be, even though they give him for free this patch uh, being able to get uh, his cons to improve him is still pretty helpful uh, so it kind of makes sense why he'd be on this banner but not really perfect in my case but that's fine I guess another Lynette she, she again she she really really likes me it's okay I really like her too Oh man, he really is making those primos disappear, but I'm all too happy to just throw them in that hat and see what we get back. <laughs> I am her favorite, okay? If you guys aren't getting Lynette cons, it's because I'm her favorite. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she she hit C6. <laughs> she hit that C6 and uh, she's still showing up. That's fine. And here is our Lenny. Barbara as well. And there he is, the boy. Aww. He's so snazzy. I love him so much. Oh, there we go. C1 Linny. So we could still keep going, try and get that C2 that just looks really nice. But I think it's smartest now to save. We can no longer guarantee him. So in the worst case scenario, we might end up with another Chi Chi and not being able to get that Linny out of it. So I think if... I still want that C2, we can go for it on rerun. And we will call it here. Uh, we still did absolutely fantastic here. C6 Lynette, the first great magic, and Aqua Simulacra, and C1 Linny. So, plenty of great things. And uh, yeah, I think that will uh, bring our show to a close as the curtain falls. And. Uh, Real quick, let's go ahead and bring him in. Ah, oh, everything looks so fantastic. And now he is going to pop in and make it even more fantastic. There he is, beautiful. So gorgeous, look at him go. He's fantastic. Um, yeah, we, we could keep pushing for that C2, uh, but it's not really necessary and he should be fine for now. Uh, again, his cons are pretty good across the board. Uh, C2 just was a really nice uh, stopping point, I think, because it just gives a lot of crit damage. But I think he'll be fine without it and if we really want it later, we can grab it. Uh, but I did want C1 a little bit more than C2. C2 was just like a nice break point. C1 is, I think, a little bit more important because it does just improve his rotations and helps you get those stacks a little faster, which will be very nice for comfort on him, I think. So we're going to go ahead and activate that now. And uh, yes. Oh, he's, he's going to be so fun. 
Uh, let's go ahead and get this off of him. Uh, get you something a little more fitting. And then over here we have our lovely Lynette. She is <laughs> level one. Again, I was trying really hard to uh, explore Fontaine with them, so I didn't use her too much. Uh, but her kit does seem very fun from what I've experienced. And uh, we're going to just activate all these cons. She gave us everything. Go girl, give us everything. And uh, I think it's time. Benny gets something too. To Fontaine and New Beginnings. <laughs> oh, I'm just so excited. I'm so happy. Uh, really everything went fantastic here uh our loyalty was rewarded and i also got him a uh decent wanderers troop set as a placeholder while we wait to farm the mare chaussee hunter uh <laughs> morph is probably cringing at my uh, attempt to pronounce french right now <laughs> so yes uh we got him this artifact set it's just a placeholder until we farm his best in slot but uh, it's a pretty good placeholder because look at that. He's already sitting at uh, 61 crit rate, and that's before we add his Ascension passive, and 184 crit damage, and that's before we finish leveling up his bow. So he will hit really hard. But yes, that will bring our great show to a close, I believe. Uh, he did indeed make our primos disappear, but... We got plenty of great things in exchange. So, thank you guys as always so much for watching. Best of luck to you guys on your polls. And until next time, this is Hoodie Angel Brandon, Linny, and Lynette signing out.